suspect areas or roosts where some turkeys are. Thanks for tuning in. See you there. Just got out to the spot. We got here a little late. Uh, sun came up before we wanted it to, but that's okay. I'm here with my buddy. He's getting ready right now at the car. See what the status is out here. Came out here with Parati last time we were here. Definitely want to check it out again. Anyway, not gonna give up, but it's difficult. Not easy hunting. We're gonna try one more spot, so I'll check in when we get over there. Got some fresh turkey tracks right there. Cause they weren't here in the morning when we came in. But who knows? It's hard to say which way they went. Looks like this way, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, that looks like ring wraith riders are gonna come flying down it. Yeah, and with Brian Delisi here. And he's picking up trash, doing his part. Too much of this goes on. So, you see trash, pick it up, you know? I always bring an extra garbage bag for this stuff. Every little bit helps, man. It's out of control out here. Every time I come out to these spots that we hunt, Somebody just doesn't care, you know? So just pick it up and throw it in your bag and dump it when you get home. Keep America beautiful. Yep, Fire Mountain does it. We always do our part. So hopefully some other people do it too. Well, we're all done with our turkey hunt for today. We'll go out again some other time, but we were unsuccessful. Didn't really hear or see anything, but did a lot of calling, put some decoys out. We heard, we heard a few when we first got here, but. Yeah. Definitely, oh, wow. definitely heard something. I don't know if it was turkeys, but it sounded like them. It's just hard to tell. The elusive turkey has been kicking my ass for about five trips now. Hopefully I break this streak soon, but I'm not gonna give up. I'll do public land and private when I can. And uh, we're working on that. He knows a lot of people, so we'll try to get out and do some private land hunting soon. And not just for turkeys, for other big game animals like hogs and things like that. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Maple stick, triple threat, aluminum, glass, and slate. Is that right? Yeah. Let's hear it. So we'll call the the slate first. Then we'll call the glass. Then we'll call this the aluminum. That sounds like a distressed one. That's interesting. Triple threat. This one's got a little tuner on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. That's why.
wide open. It sounds hollow, yeah. Yeah. Raspy. Yeah. So your grandma hen. <laughs> yeah. So that's cool. This is carbon. Oh yeah. And then and that one's uh is that one? That one I think is birch. Hmm. Right on. See that that's why the where hollowness I, of it? Where I got the idea for the carbon. Oh yeah, you use your uh yeah, arrow. Arrow. Yeah. And it sounded great. Yeah. It sounds pretty good like this. That's all it is, yeah. carbon fiber. Yeah. All right. And you keep, always sandpaper. keep sandpaper with you so you can. Clean them up? Yeah. Huh. And I've heard people get them wet too sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, there you have it, folks.